hello dear rest welcome back to my channel this is Marfeli. i am glad to be sharing my spring grow recipe without frying in oil with you all this is the recipe that people have been asking me about how to fry your spring grow or samosa without using oil so here is the recipe let's get started in a bowl i'll add water and to that i'll add salt I will then mix everything together until it is well incorporated. Next, I'm going to go ahead and show you the meat that I'm going to use. And here is my meat that I am using for my spring grow recipe. And you can see there is grains inside. So this is the grain we are talking about. Those white lining inside is the grain we normally talk about. So next, I'm going to cut it into two. And then I will show you the grains properly. Just look at inside the way it looks. These are the grains that we are talking about about just look at the white lining inside yeah so it is the grains we are talking about so at this point i am going to slice into two with the grains nicely and i will show you how to cut against the grain that will make it easier to cook very faster so once i am done cutting into two next i'm going to cut it smaller sizes against the grain the way you see me cutting it cutting it this way helps a lot so that it will cook very fast and tender and also it is very good when you cut it in this way for stir fry recipes so i will keep on cutting until i am done with everything next i will transfer it into the salty water and then wash it nicely this makes me feel like getting rid of any preservative that was added to it in the shop but it is totally optional so i'm going to wash it nicely and drain out the water next i will transfer them into the pot nicely I will then go ahead and add chopped onions, onion powder, ginger powder, anise, beef seasoning, and salt to taste. I will then cover it and allow it to cook with its own juices nicely. And I will stir it to make sure that they are all combined and beautiful just like this. And cover it to cook with its own juices for about three minutes. And after three minutes, just look at that. It is very nice and perfect. So at this point, I'll go ahead and add water to it and allow it to cook until it is tender and very nice. Next, I will be using carrot onion spring onion cabbage green bell pepper and green chilies which is totally optional next i'm going to prep them nicely and start cutting them so i'm going to cut all my veggies nicely and then set them aside now if we're new to my channel we'll be delighted to have you join us by subscribing to my youtube channel adding on the bell so that you will not miss out in any upload that i make share comment and also like my recipes and do not forget to ask your questions in the comment section and i will not hesitate to answer you quickly as soon as possible thank you continental food mistress International Food Madam Manfell is kitchen fair 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 What do you define where you no get? Manfell is kitchen fair fair fair
all right so so once i am done cutting the veggies i will set aside and go back to check on my meat on the fire and just look at the way it look it has cooked very well and tender just look at that it is nice and perfect so i will set aside to cool down and in a separate pan i'm going to add olive oil you may use any cooking oil of your choice okay i will then go ahead and add all my cut veggies into it nicely and stir for 30 seconds we do not want to cook it to be tender okay so i'm just going to stir it to be a little bit mixed with the oil and also add some salt to taste so this is for those who are vegetarians or those who do not want any meat you do it like this and then you are set to go to wrap your samosa or your spring grow recipe right away so i will just stir it for 30 seconds and then turn off the heat and next i'll add the meat to it mix everything together until it is combined beautifully once i am done i'll go ahead and add cornstarch into the stock and cook on a medium heat until it becomes thick we are going to use the stock as a thickener so that our spring growth filling will not be that dry i do not want it to be too dry so i'm going to add the thickener to it so that it will be very nice and a little bit moist inside but it is totally optional if you do not want to add do not add okay once i am done mixing everything together i will set aside to cool down completely and then we'll go ahead and start wrapping our spring grow recipe so next i'm going to place my spring grow sheet on the board and i will add my fillings to it nicely once i am done adding the filling i will fold it over twice just like the way you see me doing like this and then fold the sides as well just like this and begin to fold it over again and you can see that the sides are not sleeping at this point so i will use my hands to make sure that they are sleeping nicely and fold it over until the end and once i am at the end i'm going to spread cornstarch or any paste that you know that it will make it to stick very nicely and then fold it over to seal it beautifully just like this just look at that it is so beautiful and nice so this is what we are going to make it and i'm using only one sheet i will show you another one that i am doing i will place it there add my fillings and fold it over twice just like this and fold the sides as well just like the first one and at this point i'm going to brush the sides with cornstarch this will help it to make the side slip down very nicely and beautiful if you cannot make the first one that i made if you cannot use your hands to help it slip down you can brush the cornstarch just like that and then help it to slip down beautifully just like this and fold it over and once you are at the end you spread the cornstarch there beautifully and then seal it nicely just like this okay just look at that it is very perfect and nice so i will keep on doing this process until i am done folding all my spring grow recipe 
and once i am done folding them or i'm going to show you how to fry them without dipping them in oil to fry okay once i am done folding all my spring grow next i'm going to take my spring grow one by one place them in the plate nicely and at this point i'm going to spread them with cooking oil i will spread both sides with cooking oil nicely and i'm going to do that batch by batch okay so once i am done spreading the cooking oil on both sides i will aside and then continue repeating the same process with other ones as well Felis Kitchen, the best continental food mistress, international food madam. Man, Felis Kitchen, fair, fair, fair. What do you define where you no get? Man, Felis Kitchen, fair, fair, fair. What do you define where you no get? Once I am done brushing them with the cooking oil, next I will transfer them into the air fryer basket nicely. So I will add the pieces of the spring roll into it until it is full and nice. And once I am done, next I will transfer it into the air fryer nicely and then set my timing. I will then set my timing to 19 minutes and also my temperature to 150 degrees Celsius or you may adjust it according to the timing and temperature of your air fryer okay so if it is your first time using the air fryer you will have to check on it periodically to make sure that it is not bent and once it is done just look at that it is golden brown and beautiful just like this so at this point i'm going to take them out of the fryer and set aside and repeat the same process until i am done frying all my spring grow and look at my second batch also it has fried very nicely and golden brown so i will take them out as well just look at the way it look it is so crispy and nice and crunchy <laughs> it is so nice trust me and this is so so good for those who do not like a lot of oil in their spring roll or samosa recipe and then here we go our spring grow is ready to be enjoyed so let's go right ahead and start breaking it and just look at that can you hear the sound it is so crispy and crunchy <laughs> this is so so delicious and nice and less 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 oil thank you all so much for watching and i believe you enjoyed this video and are inspired to try at home and give me the feedback in the comment section if you did give your girl a thumbs up subscribe and share if you have not done that yet if we're a new subscriber welcome to my channel this is Marfeli. thank you so much for subscribing and always remember at Marfeli, we believe in the old adage your health is your wealth so be mindful of what you eat and until i see you in my next video stay safe fit and healthy bye